hello guys welcome to my youtube channel sql info and in this video we are going to discuss about how can we update the records in our database so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys that please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any update so let's get started the first thing is we have to open the xam and let me check that it's already running and the second thing we have to open our database that is localhost and php my admin and we have to open the specified database that we are using and we have to create that table there um, so we will, this is our database named as practice so Today we are going to create a customer table in which we have customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code and country. So let's get started. So we have to create a new table for that. Uh, so let's see how much tab, uh, how, how much column we got. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 columns. So and table is name as customer okay so we have to click on the go and the first name should be customer id or id the second thing should be name and the third chain the third should be contact name to whom the things have been referred the fourth one is address and the fifth one is city seventh one is postal code postal code and the last one is country so for the id we have to give end for the name we have to give text contact name we have to give the text uh, for address we have to give the text or we can give worker worker uh, because uh, it uh, the address might contain a numeric figure that is house number or street number and the city will contain text and postal code should be in integers and country should be in text so counting the values we will get name as 50 contact name address might be 200 city might be 50 postal code might then country might be 50 okay that's good to go and the last but the, not the least we have to put the auto increment to the id okay so we have got auto increment and now we will click on save so we have created a new table named as customer and we have all these column that are being mentioned in the table so now we are going to insert the values and update them so for inserting we will click here uh, we will click the customer name <coughs> as alfreds and we can write its uh, contact name as maria andres and we can write it address and nothing city will uh, will be berlin just for just for example just for example it it might be berlin and for the postal code we can write 12209 and for the country we will go to germany okay so the data has been inserted and the next thing we are going to do is we have to enter another data and we're uh, we are going to change the postal code and country and city so postal code in this case will be 0 5 uh, 0 to 1 and country will be Mexico Mexico and the city will be Mexico DF okay so okay we are going here so we are going to insert this value too so we will click on the go 
so as you can see the two values has been inserted two records has been inserted in the table named as customer you can see now we have to update the record so for updating the record uh, we will execute a query which is update and now we have to write the table name our table name is customer update customer and what we have to change we have we want to change the postal code set postal code is equal to as the postal code is in integer so we don't need to put uh, double quotes or single quotes around it so we can write one two three and we have to write where where id is equal to one and now we have to execute the query and let's see how it's work so one row is affected so the id with a one and its postal code has been changed and what i have to uh, change the two datas of one row so same things we are if i want to change two things uh, uh, in a record uh, in this case in the previous case i have changed only the postal code now i want to change postal code and address as well so the same thing will be happen update customers and set sorry set postal code is equal to one two three four five and by giving the comma it will refer us that uh, it is changing the two values and i want to change address to address and address is in string so i have to write is a this one so the next thing is where id is equal to one and let me execute it so one way has been affected so as you can see this time two records of the same table has same column has been affected so that's all from today's videos hope you like my video and if you like the video do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any update from my side thank you